Hi. Let me explain dealer signature two stage timer. It's something new. So I will just show purpose of such timer. I have here one spin. Let's say this is a mostly common spin and uh, I will show you how the timer controls and informs us if dealer signature is not any more dealer signature and how we can even readjust. So I already set the timer. I'm gonna press play and then when the ball first time comes to this point I will click the switch and read the number there um, and timer will start. So timer started and it giving me signals every second and when it comes to the end it will give rapid signals so I know the ball is due to drop. So that's how it is adjusted. After now I checked is delay still spinning the same uh, with same velocity ball. Now uh, see I get now different signals. I, usually rotor is moving and dealer doesn't speed instantly. See zero was here on the beep and now I'm checking how rotor makes. It goes there. It almost makes one and a half rotation. So. So that's what I remember. That's my most common spins. And um, it gives only a few signals like that, six I think. And then because sometimes you wait too long in between uh, spins, you don't want to wait. Um, you don't want to all the time signals. So right after spin, you have uh, signals to check rotor speed. So you check if dealer spinning the rotor constantly if, with constant velocity you check if uh, rotor is moving uh, did I say rotor ball and the rotor as well so let's say now the some 15 20 30 minutes one hour or new dealer comes and he spins so I'm gonna see do I still have my dealer signature I will be little late pressed but it's close it's only like 100 milliseconds wait for this doesn't matter so let's see one two so two more seconds until I got rapid signal and the ball drops two seconds earlier so the the this pin is two seconds shorter so we know the dealer is not spinning the same so we have simple checkup but let's see even with rot rotor i repeat the spin so i can check now how much rotor makes so the zero was here at the moment of beep and now it's here before was one and a half rotation now is one and quarter rotation that's a huge difference in rotor speed even with necktie we think our oh, rotor it might be very similar but that's like in five five uh, or let's say in six seconds that's nine pockets difference and uh, until the end of spin it could be like 27 pockets difference uh, for the length of the spin so this is a great control for anybody who plays uh, roulette dealer signature if chains are a little bit smaller than this uh, you can readjust say you can see the ball is uh, dropping two seconds earlier so you can say uh, in two seconds rotor makes let's say 18 pockets you can simply start playing on the opposite size than what you played earlier if rotor speed is still constant with let's say new dealer or same dealer but he changed uh, spins and starts spinning ball uh, slower or if rotor speed changes, you can readjust. Uh, when things like this, too much change in rotor speed and too much some change in ball speed, uh, it's a little bit too calculated. But it can be complicated. But it can be calculated. So that's about it. I just want brief description about uh, new 
a feature that is added to FFZAP and FFE robot computers. Thanks for watching.